Hi, I'm Dr. Gonzalez from Yale University Hospital. And today I'm gonna to guide you how to use the Acuro, a new ultrasound guidance device meant to enhance neuroaxial anesthesia placement. I turn on the device by hitting the on button. Wait for the system to reboot. While I do that, usually I start opening my epidural tray. By this point, the system is already on and I can put it in sleep mode while I finish prepping the rest. You put the system to sleep by hitting again that on button. Acuro has created a sterile sheet cover that fits perfectly to the device and can be placed single-handedly by a provider without the need of any help or assistance. So the next thing I do, I find a steady solid surface, place the ultrasound so it's in a safe position. I put a little bit of ultrasound gel, prep the patient's back. You're gonna feel cold and wet. This is just a cleaning solution. Place the sterile drape over the patient's back. The sterile cover is very easy to use. Just place your hand so that you can securely introduce the ultrasound. While the ultrasound is in a secure surface, just grab the ultrasound. Hold steady. Make sure that you don't touch the ultrasound at any point after that rolled the sterile cover. This can come off. Uh, in the side of the cover kit, there will be two bands. Um, <clears throat> one can be placed over the screen to make sure that it's neat and tight. The other one could be placed over the ultrasound head. Uh, but usually, in my experience, just placing the needle marker, it's good enough to actually get a very nice seal. Just prep your epidural kit as you would normally do. And now we are ready to scan the patient. So the first thing when you're starting with Acuro, always palpate again. Make sure that you go up to the hips, feel for your midline. Okay, so let's go back to that position that we discussed before. Perfect. Turn on again the ultrasound. So again, hitting the spine button. We start and we see this white line is telling us that we are off center. So you want to bring those line, that line up to the midline where actually we can see there already spinal process as shown by this dot here. And you can see it represented there in the 3D image. So you want to, in order to have a clean entry point, you want to get rid of that spinal process. So you try to move your ultrasound up and down until you don't see that little dot that represents the spinal process. So this here will be an, a good interspace and very important to keep in mind the trajectory of your ultrasound and meaning the trajectory of the beam of the ultrasound. So try to remember the angle at which you obtain this image. At this point, once you locate the interspace, you want to make sure that you are not pressing on the skin as that could affect the accuracy of the reading. And you can see how now we are reading closer to six. When we press, we are reading closer to five. So it's very important to not press on the skin and to remember the trajectory of the ultrasound beam. So the Acura has made it very easy to mark your interspace. 
all you need to do is make sure that you're aligned again in the interspace, that there are no interspinal processes in the 2D image, and you just press on the wings of the acryl needle locator, and that will leave indentations in the skin of the patient to guide you again to your interspace. In this case, what I normally do is that I try to connect this dot with this dot. So somewhere around here is going to be my entry point. So it's very important to remember that ultrasound is a snapshot of the image at the time where the ultrasound image was taken. For that reason, it's extremely important to have everything as ready as possible so that as soon as you finish performing your ultrasound markings, you can go ahead and perform the, the procedure. So the first thing we'll do is make sure that we still have our markings and we'll start by putting local anesthetic in that area. So after the local anesthetic is placed, again, remem remembering the angle at which the ultrasound being obtained the image, we will start advancing our TUI needle. Very important at this point to remember the estimated depth from the ultrasound. And around that depth, it's when you are going to start feeling uh, engagement to the ligamentum flavum. By no means, the ultrasound should supersede clinical judgment. The ultrasound is just meant as guidance and as a safe alternative to obtaining good interspace.